A blessed day everyone! For today, we will be discussing how to perform the physical fitness test or the PFT. This video includes lectures and demonstration. Let's start with the introduction. This lesson will determine the readiness of the student to participate in the physical activities by answering the physical activity readiness questionnaire or the PARQ. The capability of the student in performing various physical activities can be determined by their health background. The health condition of the student will be assessed before performing. Physical Fitness Test The physical fitness test is a set of measures designed to determine one's level of physical fitness. And it has two components, namely health-related fitness and the skill-related fitness. Health-related and skill-related fitness involves the exercise activities that you do in order to try to improve your physical health and stay healthy, particularly in the categories of cardiovascular endurance, muscular strength, flexibility, muscular endurance, and body composition. Cardiovascular fitness is the ability to exercise your entire body for a long period of time. Components of physical fitness Starting with the health-related fitness. Health-related fitness includes the following. Muscular strength, the amount of force your muscles can produce. Flexibility, on the other hand, is the ability to use your joints fully through a wide range of motion. Muscular endurance is the ability of the muscle to work for a long period of time. Body composition is the amount of the total fat and muscles in the body. Skill-related fitness Agility the ability to rapidly and accurately change direction of the whole body in space. While balance is the ability to maintain equilibrium while stationary or moving. Coordination is the ability to use senses and body parts in order to perform more tasks smoothly and accurately. Power is the amount of force a muscle can exert. Reaction time is the ability to respond quickly to a stimuli. Speed is the amount of time it takes the body to perform a specific task. Let's now have the PARQ or the Physical Activity Readiness Questionnaire. Answer the Physical Activity Readiness Questionnaire or the PARQ to assess if you are capable in performing the suggested physical fitness test. The part Q are answerable by yes or no. In this part, you need to have your record book or a piece of paper to write down your answer. After the questionnaires, we will be assessing your answer to know if you will be capable of doing the fitness test or not. Let's start with question number one. Has your doctor ever said that you have a heart condition and that you have only to do physical activity recommended by him? Is it yes or no? Do you feel pain in your chest when you do physical activity? Is it a yes or a no? In the past month, have you had a chest pain when uh, you're not doing physical activities? Yes or no? Do you lose your balance because of dizziness or have you ever lost your consciousness? Yes or no? Do you have bone problems like in your back, knees or hip that could be made worse by a change of your physical activity? Is it a yes or a no? Is your doctor prescribing drugs for your health condition as of the moment? Yes or no? For the last question for the park you, do you know all the reasons why you should not do the physical activity? Is it a yes or a no? 
There you have the part Q. Now let's assess the result. Take a look at your answer. And this is what you have to take note. If you answered yes to any of this question, talk to your doctor before you engage or you start engaging in the physical activity. Tell your doctor about the part Q and which question you answered yes. In other way, if you answered no to any or all the part Q questions, you can take start participating in the physical activity. Just like our next activity which is the physical fitness test or the PFT. PFT includes a lot of different physical fitness tests. And let's start with our fitness. Number one, seat and reach. Seat and reach is a test of flexibility for the lower extremities, particular hamstring. And here's how to perform the seat and reach. Let's now have push-up. Push-up is a test to measure the strength of the upper extremities. Hexagon Agility Test Hexagon Agility Test is a test to measure the ability to move quickly while maintaining balance. And here is how its Hexagon Agility Test is performed. Zipper test. Zipper test. Zipper test is a test of the upper arm and shoulder girdle flexibility intended to parallel the strength or the endurance assessment of the region. This is how zipper test is performed. Next is the curl up. To measure abdominal muscle is the main purpose of the curl up.
Stork Stand Test Stork Stand Test is a test to assess the ability to maintain or to balance the ball of the foot. Next is a standing long jump. Standing long jump is, is a test to measure the explosive strength and power of the leg muscles. And here's how to perform it. The next is the 3 minutes step test. 3 minutes step test is used to measure cardiovascular endurance. Paper juggling to measure the coordination of the eye and of the hand. This is the main purpose of the paper juggling test. And here's how to perform paper juggling. Stick drop test. Stick drop test is a test to measure reaction time as how fast a person can respond to a stimulus. The higher the score, the faster your reaction time. And here's how to perform the stick drop test. Congratulations for performing the different physical fitness tests. And this is how we end our session for today. I'm sure you learned something from it. And see you again in our next video. Thank you and bye-bye.